listen up y'all. I know these mice do not have the top grade sensors. Therefore, I'm gonna have a tough time with these mice on Modern Warfare. This is the Zeus. This, I forgot. But anyways, it's on the title. Let's go! Firstly, let's talk about the sensor of these two mice. They've exceeded my expectations in terms of response time. I didn't feel any kind of delay, and they're pretty impressive with that regard. As for the polling rate, I measured both of these mice. They're both at 250 hertz. The LOD, or liftoff distance, for both are pretty much alike, with the Fantech being a tad bit higher. Just a little bit. I tested both jitters, tapping them on my table. Both performed the same. As for the DPI settings, I prefer that of the GD006 having a 4-way DPI setting from 800 to 3200. As for this, Fantech, you only get it in 3 settings. Let's move over to performance. For the grip of both, I do love the grip on the Rigor. This GD006, or let's just call it Gundam to shorten it. Let's the Gundam go. is pretty comfortable to use. But for gaming where you're gonna need quick flicks, it's not very much optimized for that. Though you can use it for casual gaming. As for the feet, there's a little bit of friction for the Gundam. While the Rigor has really smooth feet. That of the Gundam shines a little bit while the Rigor is matte. It glides very well through my mouse pads. Next, for the weight, they're pretty much the same. Rigor at 82 and the Gundam at 83. Lastly, as for the switches, I feel that this is based on preference. The Rigor is clicky, while that of the Gundam is silent. So, this is again based on preference. If it matters to you, the side buttons of the Gundam has some a tad bit of pre-travel to it. I judge them as a tie. Let's talk about the aesthetics this time. So both of them are made of plastic, of course, but uh, there's something really nice about this Rigor. The top shell is actually matte rubber. It has a rubbery texture that's just super comfortable for you to touch. Also, it has some grooves right here. There you go. As for the Gundam, there are no grooves. If I were to choose between both in terms of aesthetics, I'd choose that of the Rigor. If you have a little bit more money to add into your budget for wireless mice, I would suggest and highly recommend you get the HXSJT100. So this HXSJT100 is priced at 800 pesos, around $16 in US. So far, this is the most accurate wireless mouse I have ever used my whole life. And the reason being, it's got a PixArt 3325. The PixArt 3325, I would say, is probably the starting sensor for competitive gameplay. And you can get it at a very low price again of only $16. I'll put some links below. If you're from the Philippines, purchase from those links and I will earn commission from them. So you can support the channel. Anyways, this is Biba Ranero. If you have any questions, be sure to comment it down below and I will get to them when I can. Subscribe if you have not or don't subscribe if you don't like to. No problem. Bye-bye. <laughs>